In today's quest for sustainable living, the most significant challenge, I believe, for architecture is in addressing urban problems. That is why I think that the Smithix Diageo site in Kilkenny is the opportunity of a lifetime for the city, for the county, and indeed for the whole region. The challenge we face in, uh, in all of our cities and towns is that the vast majority of our people would like to live in the country or in a small village. But we can't create enough small villages for, for this aspiration. So cities must make themselves desirable places to live in and to be in. They must create a sense of identity, of belonging, continuity, safety, and even things much more than that. They must create a sense of place, a self, sense of trade, a sense of delight, and even a sense of buzz. Throughout the world today, waterfront regeneration is the best example of the resilience of cities and their ability to turn themselves around from generally from harbours, rivers, ports, are now becoming uh, the, the means by which cities and towns forge new images and identities for themselves. What I'm going to do then in relation to the uh, Diageo site in Kilkenny is not set out how I would design it or what thoughts I might have about how it might be planned, but to give you a number of key principles of urban design. These are evidence-based principles that might form the framework to promote quality design in the redevelopment of the Diageo site and indeed of, of Kilkenny generally. Uh, the first of these is the con are the twin concepts of vibrancy and vitality. Uh, they, these issues, these two concepts are essential to maintaining the healthy city and town centres. By vibrancy we mean uh, the economic performance of places. And vitality is a measure of their attractiveness and their liveliness. Together they rely on the interaction of two things, people and businesses. The second of the principles I'd like to talk to you about is the idea of, is the, is the principle of context and character. Uh, the most important thing to start at the beginning of any design project is that the architect must carry out an appraisal of the distinctive and unique characteristics of the area and consider how they would design the, a layout that responds and preferably enriches that character. The slide I'm showing you here is a remarkable new retail development in Exeter in Devon called Princess Hay where the architects have really managed to integrate a large new retail quarter into the historic town centre. The view we're looking at is, is through the new Civic Square back towards the cathedral. Uh, this, the next of the principles I will talk about is the concept of public realm. There's a uh, Barcelona, which of course is famous for turning itself around from an industrial uh, port city into the, one of the most beautiful uh, places in Europe, uh, sought its future by improving, essentially by improving its urban quality. The trick, according to the Mayor Pascal Maragai, was quality first and quantity second. A network of plazas, parks and buildings was the cause of our success, he said. Similarly, I think you will see that in the recent developments which have taken place in Kilkenny, that the same emphasis has been placed on improving the urban quality. The parade is a truly landmark uh, project, a, a very beautiful urban space, which is, which is a catalyst and, is, and, a, um, and a prototype for how the rest of the city might develop. Um, urban structure, it, 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 throughout uh, human history, as streets have accommodated the full range of man's human activity, there were the spaces for socialising, for play, for meeting, for entertainment and for protest. There were also the routes for travel and the movement of goods. This shows one of the typical streets in Kilkenny. Uh, heretofore, the tendency was that new development would be based on internalised malls and, and shopping centres. Now, thankfully, I think we're reversing to streets like in this development for Opera Lane in Cork. This sets a very good model, I think, for the Diageo site in Kilkenny. The next of the issues I would talk about is the question of access and connectivity. Um, it, the important thing is to maintain city and town centres that are well connected and that are accessible, easy to get to, easy to move about, most importantly by sustainable travel modes, in ways which balance the needs of cars, cyclists and pedestrians. 
Our cities and towns have been challenged by an over-reliance on private motoring, but now, as this slide from Amsterdam shows you, there's a new way of thinking about, about cities, that streets can form the backbone of new development and that traffic can be calmed in a way which combines uh, ease of access with the high quality of public realm. Land use and density is very important and in, in, in the issue of land use and density is very important as we move forward. Ireland needs to renew, consolidate and develop its existing cities, towns and villages, keeping them physically compact and minimising urban sprawl, but at the same time achieving high quality of urban design. That is a big challenge on the Diageo site. Um, as you see in this picture from uh, Coppinger Court uh, on the north side of the river in Cork, it is possible to maintain high levels of urban uh, density with a good quality of life and excellence in architectural design. This also provides a good precedent for, uh, for Kilkenny. The next thing I would talk about is the issue of mixed-use development. Uh, this, this slide of High Street in Kilkenny shows it could be any, any town or city in the country. Admittedly, it's more beautiful than most. But it shows that in the past, that uh, towns and streets served more than one primary function, and generally more than two. That created a presence of people on different schedules, in places for different purposes, and having the availability of lots of different facilities which they could use in common. Um, gladly, I think the principle of mixed use is now again coming to the fore in new development. Uh, this is the uh, Houston quarter at Kilmaine, but it just shows you how easy it is to integrate a supermarket on the ground floor with residential development overhead, which I think this should be the model in all new urban development schemes. We move on now to the question of built form. How do you build modern architecture, contemporary development in historic places? I think the principle is that the new building, the new work should be sympathetic in scale and character with this environment, but at least as good an example of contemporary design as the older work was of its own period. That this example is uh, on the waterfront in Dunleary, where new mixed-use development with shops on the ground floor, apartments overhead, matches very well with the historic town hall building opposite. And of course, they've made this rather beautiful plaza where people sit out and enjoy, enjoy the fine weather. Another good example of this approach to urban development is in the Athlone Town Centre development, which combines a civic centre for the town with a new public library, with shopping, retail, residential and hotel development. Uh, the last of this group of uh, criteria or principles I would refer to is the issue of design quality. What we're trying to do is create the heritage of tomorrow, making our cities and towns attractive and sustainable environmentally so that they contribute to our culture and heritage, add to our local and and national competitiveness and improve the quality of life for the people who live in them. Clearly, again, the, the work that has been done to date in Kenny goes a long way in, in aspiring to this objective. And indeed, uh, your, your manager, uh, Joe Crockett, uh, was instrumental in bringing about a big change in fortunes in the town centre in Avon. This is the new uh, civic space on Kennedy Road, which my practice was fortunate enough to win the competition to design. In terms of the overall goal of sustainable development, we're looking for issues of resource efficiency in terms of construction, renewable energy sources, responsible water and waste management, and alternative forms of transport. This slide is from the BO10, a new urban quarter in Malmo in Sweden, which is a landmark in urban regeneration that all cities uh, of, of the scale of Kilkenny might aspire to. And this slide shows our own uh, regeneration uh, project in Dublin City Centre for the City Council, which combines a very high level of environmental responsibility, high energy levels, but yet a high quality of life and uh, high quality of life and uh, uh, high, high levels of urban density. Finally, there's a question of environmental responsibility. This is something I think we can't escape. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges facing mankind today. In my view, the compact city model, which is 
which is uh, promoted in the National Spatial Strategy, is the most sustainable. It increases energy efficiency, it consumes less resources, it produces less pollution, and it avoids urban sprawl. So my message to you would be that uh, these are principles which should apply to the development of the Diageo site and to the planning of it. Um, they're general, they're evidence-based, they apply to all scales of development and they form the foundation for design work. As the 19th century architectural theorist John Ruskin said, when we build, let us imagine that we build forever. Thank you.